guys welcome back to another episode of Bass Life TV and today I'm going to be showing y'all a way to fish your crankbait where you'll get more bites so everybody knows just cast it out and retrieve it back in sometimes that doesn't always work so if that's not working one day I'll cast it out And I'll reel it normal, and then I'll speed up. Normal, speed up, normal, speed up, normal, speed up, normal, speed up, normal, speed up. And I'll just do that all the way back in. And if that doesn't work, maybe they want something slower, not so fast. What I'll do. I'll cast it back out. And I'll reel, reel it in really slow. Like painfully slow. And then I'll just stop. And then reel really, really slow. And just stop. And then reel really, really slow then stop then do that all the way back in and then another way that I love to do especially in the winter time early spring late winter around there so I'll cast it out okay what I'll do is I'll reel it down to where I think it's at its max depth and I'll just stop pop my rod and I'll reel 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 stop pop my rod two or three times pop 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 reel 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 pop 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 what that's doing underwater is making it swim normal then when you pop it goes like flash like that and especially if you have a crankbait like this Rapala one kind of shiny it'll make it flash through the water and it will attract more bites especially if one's trailing behind it like if you're throwing a spinner bait you want to pop it so if one's trailing behind it it'll hit it just like that okay then a second way I like to do it is just real super fast then just stop and just let it sit there for about two seconds and then reel 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 and stop wait two seconds and reel 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 stop what that's doing underwater it's making it look like an injured shad trying to get away it'll go fast then just stop and kind of float up like it's about to die and it'll dig down then it'll float back up looking like a fish that's trying to die so I think that's the technique that I'm going to do today. Um, not sure. Um, so anyway, I hope this uh, video helped you. Um, if you have any questions about crankbait and what brands are good and what brands aren't good, just leave them below and I'll try to answer them. And I hope this helped y'all and have a great day.